everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm Sarah Radin, and I lead global platforms and measurement for Google. As part of my day job, I get to spend time with marketers like you, understanding your needs and making sure the products that we build are best suited to meet your business objectives. As I have the opportunity to meet with some of you and on a day-to-day -day basis, I hear consistently that analytics is a critical part of your digital transformation journey and a critical part of what helps you achieve your business outcomes. Today, we're helping you go even further by kicking off a new training series for Google Analytics 4. You'll get to learn about the latest in the Google Analytics evolution, what's new in the platform, how we are innovating in order to bring you the latest and greatest and evolve alongside the industry, how to get started and dig deeper into the product. And you're going to hear it all from the folks who built it, our Google product managers. I think we're probably all here for the same reason. On July 1st, 2023, Universal Analytics will stop processing new hits. We have recently announced that we are extending the timeline for our most complex customers who use Google Analytics 360, and they will now sunset on July 1st, 2024. That said, because Universal Analytics was not designed to handle coming changes to the measurement ecosystem, we expect to see some natural degradation in the capabilities between now and the official sunset. Though this extension will allow properties to continue processing hits until July 1st, 2024, we do expect to wind down product maintenance for Universal Analytics beginning in 2024. That may mean that Universal Analytics does not perform to the level we've come to expect and could translate to slower resolution of issues or impact to the features and functionality you use every day. What does that mean for you? It means that we should push forward with expediency in the transition to Google Analytics 4. If you haven't started collecting data yet in your property, you should do so now. That will allow you to collect the needed historical insights to measure your results over time when Universal Analytics stops processing hits. If you're already collecting that data in Google Analytics 4, it means you should ensure your remaining setup steps are complete. And if you still rely on Universal Analytics today, we recommend you complete that move to Google Analytics 4 and that's why we're here to help with resources, which we'll share at the end of this training, and to help you understand more about Google Analytics 4 through the series of trainings we're kicking off now. Let's shift now to talking about Google Analytics 4 and why I'm so excited about the product and what it enables you to do. Providing the right analytics solution for your business is our number one priority. And as the digital world is changing and becoming more privacy-centric, we innovated Google Analytics to give you quick and accurate answers to your questions. This is why we built Google Analytics 4 so you have the infrastructure to navigate seismic shifts in the industry, like third-party cookie deprecation, reduction in data signals, lack of insights, and more. So I want to talk today about some of the main areas we've been focusing our innovation efforts in order to support this evolution and support you in understanding your business outcomes as we evolve. With Google Analytics 4, we're innovating for a feature that is consented, first-party, and modeled which aligns to our vision for the future of measurement. As we all know, regulatory changes, browser updates, and user expectations have impacted the world of measurement. Providing with an analytics solution that is privacy-centric by design is our primary focus area so that you can measure your business with peace of mind and control how your data is collected and used based on your user's consent. First-party data has always been important, and it's something we've talked about for a long time, but with third-party cookies going away, it puts even more emphasis on the importance of first-party data. We're focusing on how to enable you with best-in-class capabilities. You can collect and use first-party data from your web and from your app, providing the opportunity to analyze your business and your user's behavior throughout their journey so you can tailor the right experience based on their needs. And last, for users that do not consent to their data being collected, our analytics solution enhances your first-party data with modeling to fill in the gaps from cookie loss, so you still preserve behavioral measurement while respecting user privacy. I think this modeling is one of the most powerful and impactful things Google Analytics 4 offers, and it's such a big difference from what we were able to offer in Universal Analytics. Innovating for a future that's consented, first-party, and modeled has been a top focus area and a foundational aspect for how we built Google Analytics 4 so we can provide the right analytics solution for you to properly measure the success of your business in a post-third-party cookie world. All of these components continue to be our top priority as we think about emphasizing our future innovation efforts for Google Analytics 4. 
But let's talk now about some of the new and exciting capabilities that Google Analytics 4 has to offer. First, we want to start with a little bit of insight into the three things we are most excited about in Google Analytics 4. The first is enabling you to see how your users interact with both your website and your app. The second is supporting you in a privacy first feature by helping to fill gaps from cookie loss through modeling and other features that help you keep up with a changing ecosystem. And third, it's leveraging machine learning to offer anomaly detection, predictive audiences, and service new insights, all of which we'll talk about in a bit. So let's dive deeper into this and what it means for you in practice. The truth is, Universal Analytics is built on 10 plus year old infrastructure that's ultimately not able to support increasingly high data volumes that we get from all of you and the cookie list and modeling capabilities demanded by a changing ecosystem. So let's talk about how Google Analytics 4 helps you better achieve your business outcomes. We talked a little bit about this already, but it really allows you to see unified user journeys across web and app. That means a more holistic user journey by connecting those multiple data sources. For instance, we can collect user interactions from your website and your app and tie this user journey together. And then we can also bring in offline data from your business to provide a more holistic view of the user. Second, as you collect your data and get a more holistic view of that user, it enables you to derive powerful business insights based on that data that you're measuring. So for instance, in Google Analytics 4, we offer improved reporting capabilities and customization to enable you to better understand your business's performance. And we're allowing you to leverage the power of Google's machine learning to predict and surface new insights to let us build predictive audiences for you to utilize. So for instance, we can build a predictive audience for people who are likely churners in the next few days or weeks. And then you can go out and reach those audiences uh, and hopefully allow them not to churn. And lastly, as you derive powerful insights about your users, you can take action on that data across Google Ads and Google Marketing Platform. So you can get a deeper understanding of the customer behavior through advanced modeling techniques by exporting your data to BigQuery. You can activate insights and first-party data audiences across channels by leveraging direct integrations to Google's media platform to then optimize that media spend and improve your marketing ROI. But this is not where it ends. Because as you collect more sources of first party data within your own ecosystem, the better your measurement of your business and the smarter and more relevant your media displaying decisions become. So that means this is really an ongoing measurement and activation of your data. And it's a hopefully a virtuous cycle, which allows you to continue to grow and improve the more you do it. So let's transition now to talk about each of these components in detail and help you really understand those benefits from Google Analytics for. So we talked a little bit about the fact that Google Analytics will now allow you to measure and understand user journeys despite gaps due to cookie loss. So let's unpack this further together. First, we'll start with the foundational component of collecting and connecting your data. A very exciting new feature within Google Analytics 4 on the data collection front is an event-based data collection model to enable more customization of your data collection and a cross-platform user view. This provides a better representation of how your users interact with your website and your app, enabling better visibility across devices. But data collection doesn't stop there. And we know that there are other areas where you're collecting data through offline systems like a POS, rewards program through a CRM platform. And we continue to provide you best in class capabilities such as data import and measurement protocol. So you can onboard your data into analytics. Last but not least, providing native integrations so that you can see your, data, your Google media performance within Google Analytics to better inform media strategies. So we know that not all users consent for their data to be collected on your website or your app, which means you come away with a non-comprehensive view of your user. So with Google Analytics 4, we innovated to provide you a privacy-centric and cookie-less measurement solution. You can really enrich your first party data with modeling capabilities, behavioral, behavioral and conversion modeling. This means we're filling in the measurement gap while respecting user consent, leading to a more comprehensive view of your user through modeling so you can incorporate the right marketing tactics based on your user's behavior. So this is just the beginning of your measurement journey with Google Analytics. So let's talk more about the next step, which is the insight generation component once you have the data you need. Deriving powerful insights by leveraging an updated user interface with robust reporting capabilities is really our goal in Google Analytics 4. So for instance, you can now easily understand cross-platform user journeys by connecting web and app data, 
but also by providing reports that enable you to quickly dive into insights and understand your user based on where they are in the journey, starting from user acquisition all the way to conversion and retention. The event-based collection model that Google Analytics offers provides you the opportunity to connect cross-device data to get that full visibility into your user's journey. Additionally, we have out-of-the-box reports that are provided within the Analytics UI, which are strategically laid out so it's easier for you to identify the necessary report that you want to dive into to properly understand the overall user journey. For instance, let's say a consumer navigates to your website, ends up converting, making a purchase, booking travel, signing up for a newsletter, and then you want to look into your analytics reporting. You just go to the report section that follows the overall life cycle of your users. So if you wanted to understand where the user is coming from, you'd go to the acquisition report. Or if you wanted to better understand user's behavior, you'd go to the engagement reports, going all the way down to retention. You can also analyze near real-time data so you have timely and accurate insights so you're no longer wondering if the data being shown in analytics is accurately representing the performance of your business. So if you're having a sale or you need to understand something that's happening in real time in your business, Google Analytics is now able to support you in doing that. You're also able to customize individual reports based on your need. So you can edit existing core reports. We know that the standard reports offer what that we offer might not exactly fit the desired business needs, or you may want to customize them in some way. And so you now have the ability to customize individual reports or even edit the default reports that we provide enabling more customization to satisfy your specific business needs. We also have some really exciting things that are exclusive to our 360 Enterprise product. You'll be able to enable a broader view of your business by rolling up your reporting while maintaining proper data governance uh, through our new sub-property feature. Sub-properties are full-fledged properties that allow you to limit what your team can access by incorporating the desired data governance. These can be utilized if data needs to be strictly separated due to requirements such as uh, different countries, different regions, or different brands. Additionally, as a, an executive or a manager, you are more likely probably to be interested in performance summary reports for the overall business. But if you think about your paid media team, they might be interested in seeing reports that provide an overview of how their media strategies or campaigns are performing. Our enterprise solution will provide you the capabilities to fully customize the look and feel of your analytics interface. So you can service only the most important reports for every level of your organization. That's something that's not available today, but that's our future vision for where the reporting interface and how data governance and reporting come together in the new Google Analytics 4. Within Google Analytics 4, you can now predict customer needs and anticipate growth opportunities through Google's machine learning, providing you truly endless opportunities. So let's dive into some of these new capabilities. For instance, you can surface automated insights on your data based on specific data changes, analyze user behavior over their lifetime, or even detect anomalies within your data. For instance, let's say that your marketing team is running a really important campaign to promote your loyalty program, but you're not seeing any loyalty program signups through automated insights. Google Analytics will then surface the insight of a dramatic drop in traffic on your website. Through that insight, your marketing and your analytics team might be able to further investigate what could be leading to that issue and quickly come up with a solution to fix it. Another example is, as a publisher, you probably care most about your top pages and events. So you can simply browse analytics the way you normally would, and within the analytics home, will surface the things you care most about without any extra clicks. The new home doesn't just learn from you, it showcases what Google Analytics is learning from your data. Or even better, we can predict the probability that a customer will likely make a purchase within a certain number of days, or predict the possibility that they will likely churn. All of these predictive analytics capabilities not only allow you to unlock extremely valuable insights, but you can leverage this to build predictive audiences so that you can utilize them within your Google media platforms, such as Google Ads or Google Marketing Platform. Through these exciting new machine learning capabilities through Google Analytics Core, you can also surface powerful insights to business questions you may not even have asked yourself yet. And you can let Google Analytics then learn from the data so that you can quickly adapt your strategies based on what's working well or not, you can proactively plan and optimize your marketing strategies, and you can provide the right experience to your, your users at the right time based on their needs, so you continue to maintain a positive relationship with them. Let's turn now to our 360 Enterprise product. Focusing on growing your business and having the peace of mind that our enterprise solution really scales with your business and your evolving business needs is top of mind for us. And so in Google Analytics 4, we're providing you with higher scalability and improved efficiency. 
So we're offering things like in-depth, unsampled analysis, allowing you to obtain more value from your data by getting full visibility into all of your enterprise data so you can realize that in-depth analysis. Custom aggregates, which will allow you to analyze more granular and accurate data with incredible flexibility, providing up to 100x speed boost in viewing reports and 40x increase in cardinality. Higher limits on your data, meaning you can access more of your data, enabling you to slice and dice it without limitations. This means you can do things like higher data import quotas, API quotas, and querying over a billion events at a time versus the standard limit of 10 million events. And we're offering real-time reporting. So get your data in your hands faster by analyzing real-time data as each event arrives during the last hour so you can quickly monitor the immediate performance of your business and adapt the right strategy. For instance, if you think about an e-commerce platform during their biggest online sale event of the year, such as Black Friday or Cyber Monday, you can understand in real time the performance of the business so you can quickly adapt your strategy. We also offer intraday reporting, higher data retention, and admin and reporting APIs, all of which are critical features we've heard from our enterprise customers that they need to really effectively use Google Analytics in their everyday business. Furthermore, Google Analytics is the only analytics tool built on top of a hyperscale cloud. So Google Cloud's global infrastructure offers no data transfer fees between analytics and any cloud region. Unlocking the power of your data by acting on the insights through deeper and broader integrations with Google and with other partners truly enables you to drive stronger business results. We talked a lot today about our activating your cross-site data through new and better performing integrations. We're offering these on Google Ads, Google Marketing Platform, and Merchant Center, so you can tailor the right experience to your customers at the right time to result in marketing performance improvements and media spend optimizations. We also understand that there might be times where your analysis doesn't end with Google Analytics, and your analytics, your data science teams might need to do even more custom analysis on your data and connect with additional data sources. And so to better support this, we have new and improved BigQuery integrations with higher performance to allow you to solve for some of your custom analytics use cases. And outside of the native integrations, we're also offering uh, higher API quotas so you can leverage third-party integrations as well. And that's a 360-only specific feature. Google Analytics 4 really offers an array of new features that allow you to measure the success of your business that are not available in Universal Analytics today. So things like our ability to adapt to a changing ecosystem that's privacy-centric. We're offering, offering responsible, durable measurement that will drive business outcomes for the long term while meeting user expectations for privacy. We're also highly scalable in Google Analytics 4. That means we can really evolve for your business needs, meaning we can measure all the interactions that people have with your business online and give you a complete, relevant, and timely understanding of the customer journey. Google Analytics 4 also incorporates more flexibility on your data collection and provides a more holistic view of your user, leveraging a new data collection model for web, the event data model, to enable more customization and connect cross-platform data. We're also providing powerful insights, leveraging Google's machine learning capabilities, which means we can automate and facilitate insight discovery. We can make it frictionless to get the most value out of your data. And we're offering, offering seamless integrations to take action on your data and drive business impact. That means you can activate your data and your insights more effectively to drive measurable marketing outcomes and access new integrations in Google Analytics 4 across Google Marketing Platform, Google Ads, Cloud, and more. I hope after all of this time together, you're really excited to get started with Google Analytics 4 or continue on your journey or complete your journey and really start using Google Analytics 4 as your primary analytics solution. We have an array of training resources available. We offer Skillshop, we have lots of video content on our YouTube channel, and now we're really excited to introduce this series. Our goal is to show you in-depth demos and use cases directly from the people who built Google Analytics 4 so that you leave with more confidence in what sets it apart and how to use it for your business in particular. We'll be releasing episodes on a rolling basis, and each episode will dive deep into a particular area of the product with the product manager who helped to build it. So we'll show you what it looks like in the interface and how to use it. We'll also share additional resources for each feature that we highlight. So you'll come away prepared to use Google Analytics for today. I'm so excited about this series. I think it's going to be incredibly impactful for you in using Google Analytics 4, and I really hope you enjoy it.
happy learning.